In a previous video, I spoke about the very messy feud which is happening between Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein, which has now started involving some very serious issues like the incident with Trisha Paytas's teacher and what was said on Frenemies about that, as well as some allegations that were made against their fiance Moses. And at the time of me making that video, Trisha had not made a full on video statement, but now Trisha has made a video addressing everything. What's crack is Evangelina Skov and like I said today we're going to be talking about Trisha Paytas and the video that they made about the whole situation with Ethan, with the teacher and with Moses. And this time Trisha was a lot more level-headed, there wasn't crying and screaming and there were definitely more organized thoughts going on so I'm just going to talk you through what they had to say about that and what's been cleared up and what has not and a bit of a spoiler not much has actually been cleared up. Before we get into that though, I would really appreciate if you would please subscribe to this channel and turn on all notifications with the little bell button right beside the subscribe button so that you can get notified when I upload. And if you'd like to, you can also check out the Patreon or the memberships. The Patreon only podcast just went out a couple of days ago. The latest episode was me talking about my bizarre encounter with creep show art. So if you would like to listen to that, the tiers start from just a dollar and all tiers have access to the podcast. There'll be a link in the description for that as well. So if you don't actually know what's going on with with everything that I said with the teacher, with Ethan, with Moses. I did go over all of that in not my last video, but a previous video. So you can just check that out, link in the description for that to catch up. But I'm gonna go ahead and assume you know what's going on. So firstly, the first thing we're gonna talk about is the stuff to do with the teacher. And Trisha did have some things to say about that. Basically, Trisha just says that they never lied about anything. They just got some information wrong because they don't fact check. And apparently Trisha truly believed that this teacher had been arrested. However, we now know that this is not the case. But Trisha also says that other people have spoken up about this teacher and some people have said that he had been arrested and they just believed it. Now, Trisha does say that although the teacher was not arrested, he was fired for this, I'm just gonna call it misconduct. Um, but it's much more serious than that for the things that he had done. However, some people looked into it and said, well, that's not true. That didn't happen. There's no record of this teacher ever being fired. So what are you talking about? Now, it seems like Trisha got this information from a Twitter account, which was saying that this happened and was saying that they were in school with Trisha at the time and that they experienced the same issues. So it's all a little bit confusing because although Trisha is acknowledging that they don't fact check, and because of that, they get information wrong. They don't really seem to be doing anything to improve that flaw and to like start fact checking, which I feel like if you realize that you're not fact checking, you're saying things wrong, it's getting you into trouble and you're putting other people at risk, not necessarily even about this situation, but about a lot of situations, wouldn't you then start to try and remember to fact check? Now, like I said, it's not the only situation where Trish is saying they don't fact check. They've said as well that in lots of situations they didn't fact check, specifically on frenemies. And actually Trisha apologizes for speaking out about situations that they weren't involved with. Saying that they shouldn't have done that, but they stand by the things that they've said about situations they were directly involved with, which I guess is fair. But now we are running into once again issues with Ethan because Trisha is blaming Ethan for the harassment that the family family of this teacher is receiving. Because if you've forgotten, this teacher has passed away. And now after this, the family is receiving a lot of harassment. There was some doxing that happened. And Trisha is blaming specifically the H3 subreddit for this, saying that they're the reason that this is happening. They're the reason the family is getting harassed and that Ethan's the one tweeting about it, um, letting the name be on the subreddit and all of that. So basically saying it's Ethan and H3's fault, which a lot of people do have an issue with this because there's saying that Trish is the one who said the teacher's name in the first place. And it seems like they're very willing to um, push the blame onto other people instead of actually accepting some of the responsibility regardless of whether this teacher actually did what Trisha claims that they did, because clearly either way, the family didn't do anything and now they're the ones receiving harassment for this. And Trisha does have some responsibility to take in that account, but is not taking it. And they also said that they were very triggered by Ethan telling them that they had to make a statement about this, which a lot of people are very angry about because they think it's just, you know, common sense that you would have to make a statement. However, there is something to be said for if 
what Trisha said about the teacher is true, that it would be very difficult for them to have to relive such a traumatic life event and make a statement. I'm not saying either side is right before anybody gets mad at me, but you know, you gotta look at both sides. Now, Trisha also does say some things about the allegations against Moses, which we're gonna talk about now, but before I move on and talk about that, I just wanna say um, in my previous video, some people were annoyed at me for for not calling Trisha a liar essentially about what they said about the teacher and I feel like some people are going to get annoyed at me now for not calling Trisha a liar about this as well um and I do understand that there are inconsistencies with the story and I have watched that mysterious person's video and I've seen that and I understand that there are issues with the story however I do not ever want to assume that somebody is lying about something as serious as that and something as personal as that. And as somebody who does YouTube and gets a couple of thousand views per video, I think it would be very irresponsible of me to sit here and tell you that Trisha is lying when I don't know because I wasn't there and I am not a judge or a jury or an investigator or anything like that. So no, I am not gonna sit here and tell you that Trisha is a liar about this situation. Um, obviously there have been a lot of lies made on Trisha's part in the past about lots of things, but I'm not gonna tell you straight out that they're lying about this one thing because I do not know for 100% anything and it's not my place to decide that. So if you are getting ready to get in the comments and be mad at me for that, then I just wouldn't waste your breath on it because I'm not sorry for that and I think it is the responsible thing to do in this situation. Anyway, let's move on and we will talk about what Trisha had to say about the allegations against Moses. Basically, to sum it up as short as possible, Trisha just says that this woman who is making these claims against Moses is just obsessed with Trisha and is hurt that Moses left her for Trisha. Also claiming that she's just looking for follows, wants Trisha to follow her and is just obsessive. And we know this already, Trisha has said all of this already. Now Trisha said all this already, but they're just sort of re-emphasizing their points on that. And they do go on to say as well that they're aware of all the texts between Moses and this woman, but that they can't comment on anything that happened before they got together. So before Trisha and Moses actually got into a relationship, Trisha is unable to comment on anything that happened before that. So that's not really saying outright that Moses didn't do that very terrible thing that he's being accused of. That's not saying he did either. So it's a little bit of a non-answer really. However, Trisha does say that these allegations will be dealt with legally. So I guess we're just gonna have to see what happens there. Again, I would like to re-emphasize that this whole thing is very, very serious. Let's be careful not to call it drama because it is allegations of SA, which is just a horrible thing. But obviously it does seem like Trisha does not believe these claims because otherwise, why would they be staying with Moses? And of course, because Trisha said in those messages, like we saw in the previous video, uh, Trisha does not believe them. Anyway, guys, those were the main points that I wanted to talk about from this video. So let me know in the comments what you think about all of this. And if you don't feel like commenting that, then let me know who your favorite Animal Crossing villager is. Mine is Broccolo and people seem to not agree with me there, but I don't understand why you would disagree because Broccolo is just like the sweetest little tiny little thing. And I just love him so much and he's so nice to me and we're besties. And actually I got Bo on my island as well. And one time I went to Broccolo's house and Bo was there and they were just hanging out. They were just having a good time. They're just like good friends and I love it and it warmed my heart. Final thing I am gonna say before we end the video as well is that um, if you don't know already, I'm gonna start uploading some other kinds of videos on my second channel. That channel used to just be dedicated to music. However, these new videos are not gonna be um, just music related. So it's gonna be other stuff going up there. So I'd really appreciate if you would um, please subscribe to that channel please. There'll be a link in a pinned comment and in the description. Um, I just re-uploaded, well, sort of re-uploaded a vlog that was on my main channel for about five minutes before I took it down. But a couple of people had already seen that. So if you have already seen it, I'm just going to say I did re-edit it. So it is slightly different. Um, it's a vlog from Alfred. So I just would appreciate if you check it out. If it's not your thing, just give it a try. And then, you know, I'll just be happy you tried. That's all I can really ask. <laughs> anyway, guys, subscribe, check out all the still follow me on social media like comment share do all the things that i'm supposed to ask you to do at the end of the video and have a wonderful day thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye